Well, we're back at the shop after a few mechanicals on the way out to King of the Hammers. We ended up stranded in the middle of the 14, trying to fix a fueling issue. Couldn't fix it, got towed off the freeway. Then my clutch rod went. It's the reason I got five gallons of gas in the back. <laughs> Uh, my buddy James, we just ran out of gas on the way to King of the Hammers, dude. Oh, buddy. Five gallons of diesel. Bro, what's going on? I think I ran out of gas. Is there any traffic behind me? No, it's, it's totally safe. Just don't step backwards. So when diesel suck in air, the only way to really fix it is to purge the air, which means you crack open one of the lines and you crank the engine over till fuel starts spraying out through one of the supply lines. I'm going to open the fuel line. When I got the fuel line open, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. You're going to crank the engine. And, and then I'll wave or something when it's time to stop. So keep your foot on the brake because we're, we're not in gear. Wait, is this, uh, is this a manual? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, wait. Hey, something just went through the floor. What? Something just went through the floor, the thing. The heck? Okay. Dude, we're getting all kinds of issues. Did you just break my clutch? I think I just broke the clutch. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. What is it? My clutch lever just broke. Um, I think I can fix it. Um, so we got two issues now. Issue number one, truck doesn't start. <laughs> Issue number two, the rod on my clutch that attaches, attaches the pedal just broke. So I'm not gonna have a clutch uh, until we get some JB Weld and maybe that will fix it. But it's not a good start. <laughs> watch, watch for fuel coming out of there. That's a fuel cutoff solenoid. And I think it's not working. No gas. No, I think it's just this. Oh yeah, something's loose down there. Yeah, this. Yeah. This is slap. There it is. <sighs> okay. We just jerry rigged that. I don't think I've got an air issue. I think I've got a fuel solenoid issue. So I'm gonna tighten down the injector again and it's gonna start. for the fuel supply.
next to the fuel supply down there, or the fuel shutoff supply. I took it off because it seems like it's binding. I'm gonna see if I can manually just bypass it. So they're gonna have to shut down the freeway to pull us over. So fortunately I got a yank strap and they'll just be able to hook us up and get us up to the off ramp and we can We got a we got a bunch of issues right now. So we're heading up the 14 on our way to Johnson Valley for King of the Hammers. Truck seemed like it was idling a little weird, but I thought it was the rough road. Gas was fine. It just stalls. Pull over, thought it was gas, throw some gas in it, not the gas. I think I maybe suck some air in, so I prime the pump, crack the line, no fuel flowing. Check it, the um, fuel cutoff solenoid, and it doesn't look perfect. So, tried to bypass that, still no luck. So, at this point, Oh, and the clutch rod just broke. So it's a soup sandwich right now, but it's great content. <laughs> We're gonna be that guy. Tell me, tell me, cops are shutting down 14. You know, you know what I hate? I hate when you're sitting in traffic because some idiot ran out of gas, or, or needed to pull over and check his tires, or his fuel cutoff solenoid broke, and now because of that one dumbass, the cops have to do a rolling traffic stop. I hate those guys. Losers. There is no way to get to the right. Say what? There is no way to get to the right side of the road. Oh, when it died? Yeah. Nah. No, I knew we had like 50 feet. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, just going to King of the Hammers. Gonna go race some Ultra 4 trucks. Picking up speed. I'm doing about 30 now. Dude, we're gold. Just keep trucking. Just keep going. All the way. All the way. All the way. <laughs> now you're gonna need to take a left on Pear Blossom. Left, I mean a right, sorry, a right on Pear Blossom. And then like four hours, just keep rolling. Tell me about the brakes and the strap. Oh, the brakes and the strap? Yeah, we've got this great situation where I'm riding the ass in a five ton truck. And uh, I've got about, we've got no power brakes. But that's all right, that's all right. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If he puts Dude, on the brakes. We're passing people, bro. What? If he puts on the brakes and you're not paying attention, what happens? Uh, we hit him. No, no, tell me that. If we, if, if he puts on I'm the brakes. I'm trying to pay attention, dude. Come on now. <laughs> if he puts on the brakes, uh, and I'm not paying attention and I can't get the brakes fast enough or hard enough because I don't have any brake assist or anything right now, I will hit him. Yeah, we're going to be wearing a tow truck for a hood ornament. <laughs> He's going to wear us like a hat. Oh, there's a right there. He's worried about the downhill. That's, that's his. Okay, so I'm gonna start trail breaking him. Dude, right. in and out.
dude, everything is breaking on my jump right now. This is a fuel cutoff solenoid. So when the engine starts, this pulls up like that, which pulls a lever that allows the fuel to flow. So I took it off, so hopefully we'll be able to start. But there's no guarantees. Well, if we get it started, I can put it in second. And we could drive it carefully somewhere and then get some JB weld and fix the rod um, the bigger issue is trying to figure out why this is doing this um, it could be something super simple like just a bad solenoid in an air pocket it just doesn't seem to be acting like that I have fuel pressure can you see you see that right there where I'm watch You see that? Oh yeah. Okay, so I've got pressure to the pump. This is my return line right here. So these are all the fuel. So the fuel comes up out of here and goes to the cylinders, right? So this is my injection pump or it's called a Bosch P pump. This is where the excess fuel returns to the tank. And I'm thinking I've got an air pocket in here. So I'm gonna crack this line Crank it over, see if we can get anything out. Oh, that's a good sound, huh? First clutch rod connector did not work. I'm a lot more confident that more electrical tape is the solution. This one's gonna do it. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's see. Okay, fixed it. <laughs> Cameraman is doing me some solids tonight. He is my parking brake. Seems to be leaking some fuel. Oh, shoot. 